Hello everybody and thank you so much for watching this uh, short explainer video about what JMS editor would like to see from reviewers. My name is Gideon Markman from Colorado State University and Ghent University and what I would like to do is really briefly go with some overview then things that we would definitely like to see, things we would like to avoid and maybe things that are certainly good to have. Every reviewer can kill a paper. But killing a paper and diagnosing a paper are not the same thing. We would like you to diagnose the papers for us. We want you to bring an attitude of stewardship rather than gatekeeping, a standard of humility, honesty, and objectivity. And we want you to provide thoughtful, fair, constructive critique of the paper. Above all, we want you to advise on the merit, originality, novelty, utility, and of course the promise of that paper. So some of the things that we definitely want to see is a sense of humility and honesty. We want you to reward intellectual courage and look for promise, not perfection. Be realistic, consistent, specific and constructive. Consistent meaning we want you to tell the authors what you're telling us. We want to be specific about the issues that you recognize. When you say the problem is and blah, 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 you identify the nature of this problem and this problem is serious because bam, 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 and you explain. We want to be constructive and offer solutions. It would be very helpful to start your review by summarizing the paper really shortly, maybe two lines, and then number your comments, comment number one, two, three, four, don't just rumble around and keep the comments very short, maybe three to five lines if you can. Of course, there are things we would like you to avoid. Uh, number one, recognize that perfection is not the enemy of promise, insightfulness or usefulness. Don't create asymmetries. Don't tell the authors what you're not telling us. Uh, and of course, no need to be dogmatic or self-serving. Try to remove your ego out of things. Uh, remove ideology, activism, and personal agenda. There are some things that are good to have, such as being kind and hopeful. Maybe offer creative solutions. You can uh, even present the authors with modalities to reconcile the different perspectives that you bring versus the other reviewers, or maybe even draw uh, an alternative conceptual model of the paper. We thank you very much for taking the time to watch this explainer video. We hope you will stay in touch with us. Thank you very much, everybody.